Arizona sounds like the battleship New Jersey dock and everybody's on leave tonight. That's right. You should book them for a whole month. Remember that when you're in the service and you hit report and you get to leave? Oh, Get your daughters off the street here from town. I mentioned in the monologue, of, of course, about the, uh, the boycott of the Olympics, which is too bad. Yeah. If they're not coming, and now East Germany apparently is pulled out. Very strong team. Russia has a strong team. I guess Czechoslovakia. Hungary will probably pr uh, pull out. And today is true, Mongolia actually pulled out of the Olympics. And, of course, I guess the athletes that have been training feel that uh, they're going to go ahead and compete, of course, and the Olympics will be held. But I suppose they feel that the competition has been diminished a little bit because they're not in it. Now, you hear that it may not be final yet. Now, we had Mr. Uh, Peter Uberoth, who's the head of the L.A. Organizing Committee, may fly to Russia. Uh, Jesse Jackson said he was willing to go over there and talk to them personally. Uh, Bradley. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mayor Bradley. Mayor Bradley said he would go over and, and try to assure them that uh, things will be fine here in Los Angeles. But apparently it doesn't look, look too good. So, you know, you feel kind of helpless, but can I have a thought? Now, this show, you know, is sent from here via satellite, you know, every night to New York, where it's broadcast right. just a couple hours after we finish it here. It'll be broadcast from New York. It's the same day. Since it's on satellite, would this show be seen... In Russia? I mean, we're on satellites, right, Fred? Sure, it could be, yes. So, actually, if it's bounced off the satellite and somebody is watching in Russia, they could pick it up sure. via satellite. Certainly, that's possible. Okay, then i tell you what I'm going to do. A good idea here. <laughs> Sometimes it takes person-to-person -person diplomacy. Why not? Look, it may not work with all of the best intentions that the government can't do it. So I thought maybe I would call Soviet leader Konstantin Chernyenko, uh, ask him to turn on his TV, you know, because he'd pick it up on a satellite, talk to him just man to man. Maybe we could settle this whole darn thing. Yeah, worth a try. What time is it? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Glad you feel that way, America. Uh, what time do you, what is it right now in Moscow? What time? I don't know. I'm sorry. You don't know what to do? Uh, I think I might. Let me see. <laughs> see Tokyo, Denver, London. Yeah, I oh, see Moscow's right here. 4.30. 4.30 in the morning in Moscow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the NBC operator here, have her make an overseas phone call to Russia. This could be trouble. Operator, I'd like to place an urgent overseas phone call, person to person, to Konstantin Chernyenko in Moscow. Moscow, Moscow. Is that in the valley? No, no, that's not the valley. It's in Russia. Then look it up in the Russian phone book. Great. Where am I supposed to find a Russian phone? I mean, you got to be kidding. Wait a minute. <laughs> cigar in my ashtray. Right? It's a Cuban cigar. <laughs> Fred, wasn't Fidel Castro a guest host on this show a week ago Monday? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Just maybe. Sure enough, my goodness, he left a Russian phone book. Oh, yeah. the desk. Wow. Stroke of luck. Oh. I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to look up Chernyenko's, uh, you know, phone number myself in the, in the red pages. <laughs> well, let's see. Here's Kami Auto Rental, Kami Dry Cleaners, Kami Roto Rooter, Famous Kami Cookies. <laughs> here it is, right here. Konstantin Chernyenko. No, phone number's there, but. No area code. Maybe the band. Guys, what's the area code from Moscow? 718! All right, all right. I knew the band would know. They were into atheist hookers. Yeah. Anyway. All right, let me, let me place the call. Area code 718. Uh, 
Mr. Mr. Chernienko? Da. Yeah. Uh, look, I hope I didn't get you out of bed. I know it's uh, it's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, where are you? Uh, did, did I wake you up? Da. <laughs> Sir, this is Johnny Carson. Who is Johnny Carson? <laughs> Mr. Chernienko, do you have a television set in your bedroom? Da. Yeah. Would, would you mind turning it on? Olga, turn on TV. <laughs> you have a TV, too, huh? <laughs> Uh, you, 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 got, you have it on? Da. Okay, what do you see? Mm, I see three little ducks dressed in sailor suits. <laughs> Sir, that, that's the Disney Channel. You wanna <laughs> turn, turn the channel selector, okay? What, what do you see now? Some guy talking on phone. Good, good, that's me. Mr. Chernenko, I'm on television uh, from America, and I'd like to make a personal appeal to you to change your mind and let your Russian athletes uh, come to the Olympics in Los Angeles. No way, Jose, you imperialistic kid. Can you imagine? Oh. Give it our best shot. Yeah. Did you hear what he called me? Yeah. An imperialistic pig. Terrible. I don't have to take that from some, some old big guy who wears bad double-breasted suits. I mean, I'm a veteran. That's right. And that has to do with it. I'm, I'm calling this guy back. Hello, Chernyakov. Uh, you again. Can, can, you, can you still see me on your TV? Uh, yeah, well, hang on a second, will you? Can, can you see what this is? Vodka. That's right, Constantine. Russian vodka. Oh, no. It, 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 it. <laughs> Just once, think of our country, rather than... <laughs> now, what do you think of that? It's your loss. Uh-huh. Well, then, hold on, Mr. Chernyanko. I have a... I have a special message from President Reagan on another line. Please stand by. <clears throat> well... <laughs> everybody knows that Karl Marx was a transvestite. <laughs> That's a lie! Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to show you something, Ruski that no Russian woman has ever seen. What's that? A lady bick. <laughs> That's right. Bigfoot doesn't have legs as hairy as a Russian woman. Our Russian women are beautiful. They are. I'm going to let our audience decide here, Constantine. Folks in the audience, if you think Russian women are ugly, at the count of three, I want you all to bark. One, two, three. Well, they're really upset. Yeah, you heard that, didn't you? Well, I've got some more bad news for you. Yeah, we just beat you to the moon again. What do you mean? I'll show you. for diplomacy, folks. Right. Wouldn't that be great at the UN? You get angry at somebody and you just walk up and... <laughs> and moon, moon somebody? <laughs> okay. We're cool. <laughs> My mother will be so proud if she sees this. Why did he have to take his pants off? <laughs> no coward would be so proud of this piece of material. We have Marion Hartley with us, the funny boys, and Calvin Trillin. So stay where you are and we'll be right back.